Hi, my name is Antonis and I'm an iconographer and a painter. Today I will paint uh, this uh, beard and hair of an older saint, Saint Aristides, and I will try to share with you my process of painting uh, this hair and beard of an older uh, grey-haired uh, saint. I will follow, of course, the Cretan tradition of iconography, which is uh, slightly different than in other traditions of iconography. And uh, I truly like this way of painting the beard, since uh, with very few means, with very few forms, uh, we can uh, produce, we can create, paint the illusion of volume on the head, the illusion of the of the hair. So, as you see, I've already painted the face of uh, Saint Aristides, and uh, now I am ready to proceed with painting the beard. The first thing I do is I create on my palette a color that is slightly darker than my green-brownish color of uh, Proplasmo, and uh, I will also try to make this color a little bit colder, a little bit uh, bluish, uh, more blue than uh, the green uh, brownish of my proplasma. For this, I will uh, mix uh, ivory black with a little bit of uh, titanium white, a little bit of cobalt blue, and uh, I will break this uh, bluishness with some uh, yellow ochre or uh, uh, cadmium yellow, something like that. The video explains better what kind of color I've, I'm applying now and uh, although it seems strange or bizarre to paint uh, the beard of uh, a white-haired saint uh, to begin to paint the beard in a darker color, this will make sense uh, later. This uh, color makes sure when you apply this layer of uh, this bluish color to um, let the proplasmo be visible don't cover the the whole area of the beard with this bluish color just let some parts uh, still be visible also make sure that this color is transparent enough and uh, have on your palette some color of the green brownish color of proplasmo and do as you see here a little bit of uh, um, blending a little bit of uh, uh, corrections if you need to correct this is the first layer of uh, color that I am applying. Now you see me proceeding with uh, the second layer of, uh, um, of color on the beard of Saint Aristides. This is probably the most uh, important and here you have to be extra careful about um, placing these forms in a way that is uh, correct. For this you have to really really observe your uh, reference and uh, try to understand where the uh, the icon that you study, um, the the master iconographer of the past, uh, have placed these uh, forms of light. Now make sure that uh, these forms are not too close to each other or not uh, too far apart from each other. You have to find the correct distance uh, between them, and uh, try <coughs> with a sharp. Uh, uh, brush and with a color that is not very transparent, not as transparent as the previous uh, layer, but uh, liquid enough for the brush to paint um, in a very smooth, uh, nice uh, um, uh, way. Here you have to find um, a balance between a confident uh, brush stroke and an accurate one. And probably this is the the most uh, challenging uh, part. When you, before you place this uh, second layer, it's good to have studied a little bit this Cretan uh, uh, tradition in the way um, beard is painted. Try to observe uh, how little, with how uh, few brush strokes, uh, they will create this illusion of uh, hairs on face. Try to observe uh, um, the brush strokes, the dynamics of uh, the shapes of each uh, form of light, and uh, try to imitate this the same on your uh, on your icon. 
Here it's important to have a brush that is very, very uh, accurate. Uh, I mean a brush that obeys uh, your wishes, one does what you want it to do. And not uh, a brush that uh, you feel that is out of your control. For this color I've mixed uh, some of the color of the previous layer and uh, some more of course of uh, titanium white. I want this to be uh, lighter, much lighter than my Poplosmos. And uh, if this seems uh, too bluish I will break again this bluishness by adding a little bit, just a little bit of uh, yellow ochre. I want the second la layer to be grey bluish a little bit but uh, not uh, too much. And now you see how the first layer does uh, accept the second layer of light and uh, that it creates this beautiful uh, illusion, let's say, of volume on the head. This, uh, the result could be much uh, poorer if we didn't use that um, first layer of darker uh, bluish color. I hope this makes sense to you. And uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, the video speaks uh, better than um, my explanations. Now, this uh, full tutorial is uploaded already on my Patreon page. And uh, you'll be able to, uh, to see this uh, video uh, there, how I paint the, the full face from the beginning to the end. Here, little by little, I will uh, try to add uh, some details and uh, proceed with painting the beard. Now, on my Patreon page, as I say, you will find this uh, tutorial. And uh, at this point, I want to really thank my supporters there, all my patrons who uh, do support this channel, the production of uh, these videos. And uh, I want to thank you for your support, uh, which is valuable to me, really has improved my life uh, by uploading these um, tutorials and um, uh, this exclusive material for all you there. Really thank you so much. Um, and um, for those of you who consider supporting me there, please feel free to... You, to visit my page there and uh, see my work. Now back on this uh, video, on this tutorial on the beard, I am uh, ready to proceed with uh, painting the third layer, the layer of the highlights of uh, the hair. And uh, with uh, again, here I'm using uh, uh, a smaller uh, brush, uh, using a smaller brush, you will add the highlights. Try to observe again uh, the reference photo that you study and uh, see where the master iconographer places these uh, highlights. Now, I, as you see, I place two highlights for each previous form of light of the previous layer and uh, on some uh, uh, forms that are closer to the shadow, let's say, I will just place one highlight. I add some pressure on my brush in the middle of the brush stroke so that it becomes thicker in the middle and more uh, like a sword, let's say, more thin on the edge of the brush stroke. I want to say that this is exactly the same way of painting uh, fur in iconographer for those, uh, let's say, uh, ascetic uh, saints that uh, were uh, fur or Saint John the Baptist. And uh, strangely enough, this is a very similar way to paint water in iconographer. Of course, we use slightly different uh, uh, color uh, colors. The color of proplasmos for water is, of course, uh, different, uh, darker bluish. But uh, the waves, let's say, or the illusion of water is uh, pretty much uh, painted with a similar uh, way. So, there you have it. Now, I want to thank you all so much for this brief uh, tutorial on how to paint uh, hair and beard of an older saint. Uh, be more in your studio, try to practice uh, as much as you can, 
and uh, improve as iconographers, as painters. Enjoy the process and uh, stay healthy and creative. I will see you soon with another video tutorial. Be well. Bye. Hi, I'm Antonis and I'm proud to present you my online course in iconography, Paint an Icon with me. This course will help you become a better iconographer and it will help you be more confident when talking and presenting your artwork. It will make you understand in depth the studio practices of a professional iconographer like me and you will get accustomed to what great iconography looks like. So learn in a simple and organized way everything you need about the materials, mediums and techniques in order to make a beautiful icon. Paint with me the icon of Christ and learn how to paint better any icon you wish. I will see you at the studio.